All right, I got Gibius wrapped up in the bag, and I thought I'd spend a little time fooling around because I don't want to do the editing right now, the end song and whatnot. Anyway, so Kingdom of Roguing. Apparently the Loathing people got this together using art assets and such from West of Loathing at a week-long gaming gamers make a game in a week conference. It's got some holes in it, but man, again, put together in a week. It's not bad for a time killer little roguelike RPG. You are Louis Simmons. Yeah, you don't even get your even your name and gender are randomized. You are Louis Simmons. Today's your big day. Today is the day you start Adventurer College. It's not as simple as showing up, though. The journey to the school doubles as your entrance exam. The more swagger you earn on the way, the less tuition they'll charge. So it's critical you travel as dangerously as possible. Where am I from? I'm from Disco Island. I actually unlocked that. You'll have to play a few games to unlock different... Otherwise, you start as from nowhere with a plus one in all stats. Random accessory. Saber to the lime. Yes, I'll take hardcore mode for extra XP, but... Uh, no di no dying, and Disco Face Stab. Not bad. Alright, your skill is randomized, so you'll quite often get a skill that does not complement the boost you took. Okay, you can take these in any order, just know that each one you don't take is going to get a little harder every time you beat one of the ones before it. Ooh, a vampire. I'm going to throw a dagger at his face. No immediate damage, but he'll take three bleed on his turn. And he did. Because the bleed. The irony is amazing. The vampire died of blood loss. Alright. Also, the loot will be better. If I had waited a few levels to come here, I'd be getting much more powerful potions out of those mushrooms. I didn't even stop and see what I got. One AP and one armor. Eh, not bad. You know what? I'll find other stuff better than that. You can have one potion one food and one booze in you at one time but whenever you go to a new le when you die it's gone of course but when you go to a new level you gotta eat drink and medicate all over again another vampire ah blue I have two action points now I can do two things I am so bad at playing music it hurt him Alright, I now have enough points to buy up a skill. Probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and buy up my... Moxie is basically rogue... De Moxie is basically dexterity, but also suave. Kimber charisma. Mysticality is intelligence slash wisdom type stuff. And muscle is your hardiness and strength. Alright. Another vampire. And because I upped my dexterity, I get an extra point on the bleed. Wham. You did. Also, because of my dexterity, I guess to get an extra damage with dexterity-based attacks such as musical instruments or arranged instruments. Oh, man, I need three muscle to open that. I don't have that much muscle. I couldn't get that much muscle if I tried. I won't have enough stat points. What I am getting is skeleton keys, which are very nice to have. Yeah, I got a strength of one, muscle of one. And once you leave an area, you can't go back. As you're leaving the Orange Forest Cave, a middle-aged man wearing a strange black hood taps you on the shoulder. Headed for Adventure College, eh? This will help. Uh, thanks. Basically, minus five hit points, but you get more swagger. Which comes in real handy in the end. The Cemetery. dead people. Speak to it. Hello, ghost. Hello. Can you help me? What's the problem? Is this crossword puzzle? I can't solve it. You have the lamest unresolved business, buddy. Ooh, funerary urns. I did not earn much from those urns. Hey, goblin. Ow. We do banjo. There we go. He did. He almost did. He fully did. That guy hits hard. I don't like him. There. He gone. Okay, this may be a 
speed it up kind of process. Okay, hey, what's the problem's problem? I never learned to dance. The other ghosts won't like me. Maybe I can show you some moves, because I got the decks. Basically, you get XP if you've got the skill they want. Like, uh, crossword puzzle is miscality slash smarts. If they need you to open a pickle jar, that's strength. And if they want to learn to dance, that's moxie. Point. Pickle jar, nope. No way in hell I'm getting that open. Uh-oh. These guys hit hard. There we go, he did. I better buy some more hit points pretty quick, because I'm not doing so well on the survivability. And I'll buy two right feet, which gives me an extra AP. Hi there. Yeah, there. Awesome. I don't need to read it all again, because it's all the same. Again, thrown together in one week. This was not like a refined final product. This was, look how much we can do with what we have in what time we have. Break them. Break them. Hey there, buddy. Did I? Yeah, I got ten more. Um, yeah, I'm going to buff up my lime. Sabertooth Lime Cub. Alright. There we go. Boom. Why didn't you attack the other one? Oh, well, I got plenty of HP now. Heck, I could even afford to put that ring on. Play Mr. Risky Gambler over here. And pickle jar. Oh, and by the way, usually when you got you get new equipment that you don't have, it automatically equips. Not the ring, because that automatically makes things harder for you. Fifteen XP, not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, but I already spent everything. So twenty. Eh, more Moxie will never hurt anybody. A little Moxie never hurt nobody. Oh, and I'm already at the end. Boom. Get to go to town. He's leaving Postal 100 Vale. Town not too far away. Bathburg. Bodyguards. You got 100 bucks, you can hire a bodyguard. But first, a trough of familiar chow. Stunderson. Man, the least they could do is let you name your dang pet. Yeah, I'm going to hire you. Alright, I can't really afford anything else now. Let's see if I can sell some stuff. I don't remember finding a hot bugle, but hey. Dang. Well, nope, looks like I'm going hatless for a while. But unless I'm facing fire enemies, that bugle's better than what I've got equipped right now, that's for sure. Thunderson increased by one again. Yay! A gulch. And of course, I cursed myself. Because hot enemies aren't going to worry too much about the hot fire. There we go, hot armor. Drink it. Drink it down. I wish I'd bought hot armor. Because now there's two of them. Crap, that wasn't quite enough. Oh well, he going. Alright, buff us up, accordion thief. That is why I brought you along. Because now I'll be doing increasingly more damage with everything. Yes. You also might luck out and start with that buff ability yourself. Or get it from a book. But also, refusing to read books gets you a little good amount of swagger. Pearl Rock. Crap, that's a strength skill. I don't have no strength. 
stats. Much better ukulele. Twice as good as my last ukulele. Heck yeah. Give me that booze from that cactus. It'll increase my moxie and my muscle. Heck yeah. The road to hell is paved with at least two demons. Eh. Only suffering the attacks of one of them is worth over killing one of them. Huh. Nope, couldn't quite kill it. Should have buffed myself. Um I think the controller may be in distress. There we go. I'm just not using the controller at the moment, that's all. You know, if it bleeds enough to do that much bleed, you'd think the initial cut would do some pain, some damage. Pants! Dirty silk dungarees. Plus two armor, plus two hot armor. Empty table, empty bed. No point in searching those. Hello, booze. Oh, come on, what's up with these mostly empty houses? Yeah, because it is randomly generated, you might get literally a house with nothing. Hot poker. That'd be nice if I had strength if I relied on strength damage, dude. But I don't. Ooh, hamethyst ring. That increases your muscle. That's not gonna do me much good. Every round and it resets at the end, but every round of combat I would get stronger and stronger, do more damage with muscle based attacks and weapons. I do have a muscle based attack though. So maybe if the ring gets to be too much. Maybe if I need that five hit points. I'll swap it out. Lime. Right. Oh, now he's making me bleed. Oh, you want me to bleed? I make you bleed. There we go. And then I win. Mansion of the tower. Let's go to the tower. All right. Ah, oh, crap. Cans. Canned goods are dangerous. Eh, it'll do. There we go. One booze, one schmoo. I'm just going to go all the way up top and then work my way down. Liquor cabinet. Whiskey and lemonade. Uh, 45 unspent points. Rational mind will get me defense. Heat defense. Yeah, I'm going to save up just a little more and try to get extra blood. There we go. Food. Oh, heck yeah. You eat the delicious dish. I certainly do. Oh, fiddly dee. This guy is bad news. He's made of fire and travels with people made of fire. I'm going to actually up my turns. I used my, uh, loco weed, which are whatever these are. These are goofballs. Healing ointment. Okay. But now I've given myself plenty of action points. Fourteen, eighteen, banjo, pasta fazool. There we go. Oh come on, loser! That thing was gonna die anyway. Yeah, these guys do lots of burn damage. And if I remember correctly, they can do it to the whole party. So we want them gone as soon as possible. Art. More tonics. I'm never going to need this many potions. I'm never going to need this much food, but hey, it's not, actually, I will need this much food. There's still levels to go. Bookshelf. Lasagna bandages, that's healing. Booze. So we got, it's giving me nothing but skills that are off of my... I'm never going to have enough swagger. 
Yeah, it's really hard to get enough swagger. Even if you take the hard path hat. <laughs> 